Welcome guys, today I'm gonna show you how to do multiplayer VR with voice chat and everything. I'm doing this because of the open source game I created. Please join the Discord, you find the link in the description. It's Ready Player One style and it's pretty cool. So please help us out, go to the Discord, you find it in the description. Today I'm gonna show you how to do this in multiplayer, instantiate cubes and anyone can connect to the same server, see the cubes, instantiate more cubes and move the cubes around. So this is me on my computer watching my quest built out doing stuff in the game. So they are not connected by cable, they are connected to the server. And as you can see I'm moving with my quest and I'm watching on my computer. We're doing this through Normcore which is awesome. Create an account, go to normcore.io and once you have an account you can download the Normcore Unity package. Do this. Then go to Unity, import the package, just like this. And this will have everything we need to do multiplayer. You will have this little folder called normal and in here you have everything you need. So find a real time plus VR player, drag it into the scene. Now I'm using the Unity XR, but this works just as well with the Oculus integration, it doesn't matter. Drag in the XR rig or the OVR camera rig to the root. Then drag in the center eye anchor if you're using Oculus or the main camera if you're using Unity. And the left and the right hand anchors. Just like this. Now as children of the hand anchors or the left hand controller and the right hand controller. I have these empty game objects that handle the input. They have the tag player hand a trigger collider and two scripts a simple grab and a player input script now the important part of this script if you're using any other any other kind of xr integration the important thing is you have a public bool that is true when the player is grabbing and false when the player is not grabbing for the unity xr you, i do it like this for the oculus you will do it differently but the only thing you have to focus on is to change this property to true or false depending on if the player is grabbing or not grabbing. That's fair enough. So the other script is the simple grab and that's not very very complicated. So I have a reference to the player input, I have a reference to the cube, the cube's rigid body and to the grabbable script that is applied to the cube. In the start function I just get the player input and then I have an on trigger stay method. And in here I first check if cube is null, that means we do not hold a cube already. Then we check if whatever is the trigger has the grabbable script. If so, we set grabbable to this script. And then we check if the player is trying to grab and if it's not already grabbed. Then we set the cube to this object, we get the rigid body, and we set everything up, like usual. Turn off gravity and all these things so that we can move it around properly. I also have this release function, so if cube is not null, meaning we have a cube and the player is not grabbing anymore, then we just reset all the values and set the cube and rigid body to null again. So I also have this movement script, it's relevant to the Unity XR, I'm not gonna go through it here, it's just the normal Unity XR movement. Uh, check out Valem's video, it's amazing. So that will tell you how to do that if you do not know. In the resources folder, I have the cubes, I'm calling them norm core grabbable, but you can call them whatever you like. You need a real-time view and a real-time transform. You can get this by add component and searching for them. And just add both of them. They are from the normal uh, norm core package. And make sure you have the same settings as me here. And then we have the grabbable script applied to the cube. And also a collider and a rigid body. So the grabbable script is super easy. It's like this. We get the real-time view and the real-time transform components. We also have a public bool if the cube is grabbed or not. And in the awake function we get the scripts. If it's grabbed we request ownership of this cube every frame. So the server knows that we own it and we want to move it around. So we need to do this every frame. 
as long as the cube is grabbed. Now I also have this friction here. You don't have to worry about that. That's just me playing around because the cubes were sliding a little bit. So right here, you also need to get a app key. You get this from the, the normcore.io website. You need to log in. You need to click application. You need to add a new application and you get an app key right away. You don't have to try to use my keys because they will not be in use after this video. So just copy this and copy it into the Unity editor in the prefab. Then I have a reference to this uh, spawn position where the cubes will spawn. I have an empty game object, which is the button. And inside of here, I have a cube, which is the actual physical button. It has a trigger collider, a kinematic rigid body and the instantiate cube script. This script has a reference to real time. This prefab where you put the app key. And I also have a reference to the spawn position where the cubes will be instantiated. Open, opening up this script, you see the references at the top to the real time and to the spawn position. I also have two methods in here, one to spawning the cubes, taking a real time parameter and instantiating this cube. So we set the position, the rotation, who owns it. You don't want the client to own it right away. You want it to be open for anyone to own and use. And you set up everything like this. Then we have the on trigger enter and if whatever enters it's the player hand then we want to instantiate a new cube. So the pricing is great you can have 30 players for free so that's that's a lot and for 24 bucks a month you can have thousand players and that's I mean that's all you need. We don't have too many viewer players still so that's great pricing I think. There's also great documentation. I'm working my way through it right now and I will make more videos as I go deeper into the documentation. But for now, this is a good getting started project. And of course, they have a Discord where you can ask questions if you get stuck. And also we have a Discord for the Reddit player one. So come join us. You do not have to be super good at coding. It's a modular, modular setup. So all you have to be able to do is create a fun mini game. If it's good, we can add it to the world and you can be a part of, of this whole project. So please join our discord. You get a link to the GitHub and you can join. You don't have to uh, contribute. If you like, you can contribute with IDs or code or 3D modeling or whatever you are good at, even just IDs are welcome. Uh, and if you cannot get this to work, of course, everything is available on Patreon for download. You can download this full project and just start modifying it to build your game. You only need to get your own app key from the Normcore website. So that's it for me, guys. I hope this uh, helped you a lot because I think this is pretty cool. So have a good one.